Hello and welcome to another start craft video. This time we're making a leaping fish in the sea, which will be a simple articulated fish with me, Nikki Dillerstone. First of all, let's go through the materials needed. I um, need two sheets of A4 paper, scissors, ruler, pencil and pencil crayons, um, masking tape or sellotape. Um, I put pencil crayons uh, because it makes it easier to fix, this is what I'm going to make, to fix the fish to the paper afterwards. You can use felt pens, but it just means it's going to take longer for this paper to dry for your tape to stick the fish to it. Okay, so let's get started. Right, the first thing we're going to do, as I've just shown you here, we've got a background piece of paper, um, which I've coloured to be like the sea, not the River Humber, which is quite brown. But So we've got a lovely blue-green sea with waves, and then we're going to make the fish to go on top of it. So first of all, let's get a piece of A4 paper. And I think that you can probably see on here that I've done just these sort of like wave shapes. We could do the whole of the paper, um, just blue and green, the lovely sea colours, but I think it's quite nice if we add some wave shapes to it, just to give it a bit more detail, really. So my first lines were quite faint. So let's just go over these. And you can put quite a few of these in. Do keep them of varied length, um, some thinner, some thicker. Okay, once we've got those done, those will be left white. They're the, you know, the foam on the waves. So now we need some colours to actually colour the water in. And I've already started using some colours here. So we've got this lovely green. And then we've got, I'm just going to, with another piece of paper, I'm going to check. That's a very dark blue. So I think I'll go for, that's, that's quite nice there. I think, over the green, or the brown over there for some reason. Right. So while that's quite dark, you can sort of blend your colours together, okay? And you keep on doing that until you've got all of your page here. I'm just going to have to amend some bits here because this is one I prepared earlier and I tore the sellotape off. So you're going to work until... Well, until you put as much work as you want to have on here, really. So as much of the blue and green as you like. It's quite nice to sort of blend your colours over. This is a little bit pale here, so I'll work that again. And then you just keep going until you've got all of it coloured in. Okay. Colouring in is, is a really lovely thing to do, I think. Right, so we'll say, okay, that's our C there. So we can put that to one side for a moment and we go on to making the fish. There's a really easy way to, to actually to make this, and that is you get a piece, get another of your pieces of A4 paper, fold it long ways, so you end up with long thin piece like that. Nice sharp crease in the middle. Because I cannot get, if I drew that out freehand, it would not be a symmetrical fish. So, fold it in half, and the sort of shape that you want 
is this sort of shape really starting at where your fold is starting at that top corner and then you come down quite full like that nice big curve there keep it quite full there and then you're heading back up towards the tail so that can go quite thin and for the tail just curve it back out again and then you draw another line there so you've got a lovely big curve there flatten it out a little bit there go back up nice and thin and make the tail shape and so now we cut that out it was a nice sound i think scissors cutting paper or scissors cutting fabric lovely sound right let's get rid of the rubbish and there we have our basic fish so we need to add some colour to that one now and because we've used blues and greens for the background it's best to make a different colour for the fish and I know that you can get some brownie orangey fish so that's what I've gone with here so first of all using your pencil let's draw some eyes in and they usually have quite a round iris and then I'll sort of do a few lines to sort of accentuate that okay and next I do like fish scales so I'm getting a metal ruler and getting it at about 90 degrees of the central line start off drawing a semicircle going across your central line and another one and another one that side and then another one it's an easy way to draw fish scales right after that you can just join your first to your second second to oops third third to fourth fourth to fifth and you keep on doing that pattern so we've got some fish scales there and I'll do some more further down so, so nearer the tail so we'll go again get this about 90 degrees to that central line and we'll have less scales because obviously the fish is narrower there so we'll go one one either side and then go from one to two to three and one right so we're going to have different colours, as I said. So I'm going to use oranges, tans and browns. I think. Yeah, that's black. OK, so, well, I think we'll have black to start off with. For the eyes. OK, give that a bit of oomph. And then... With this tan colour, I want to go round the eyes and I'll go round a few times. We're not necessarily making a fish that looks completely realistic, are we? We're making more of a sort of illustration fish. OK, and then let's edge the fish scales in the same way. Now these are quite a nice design feature um, and I'll show you in a sec. So you go over those and you'll go over the ones, just outline all of those. And then what I've done here is I've added some extra detail by just adding some like zigzag lines. It, this is purely an illustration fish, so you know, it can have any sort of pattern on it. It really doesn't matter. The more decorative, the better really. So, um, you'll colour the you'll colour all of the fish in as I have done here, and then you can add a pattern as well. I know that some fish are well marked with spots, so I thought, right, let's get some spots going. And again, keep it quite random. You know, they're not always symmetrical. I don't think. Could prove me wrong. 
foot. Um, so draw some circles as I've done there, right down to the tail. Um, and there's your fish done. Okay, but like that, if I just, if this was all coloured in, um, and then I wanted to put on a bit of paper, it, it's just like, well, that's not very interesting, is it? So we're going to do the articulation next. And it's really simple, the articulation. All we're going to do is starting beyond the head, we're going to make cuts down into the body, which will allow us to bend the fish and create quite nice curves, like a fish le leaping out of the water. So get our ruler again. So imagine that this fish now is all coloured in as this one and get your pencil and starting well beyond the eyes. So maybe starting your cuts about there and finishing them before it gets really thin for the tail. And get your ruler and you're going to mark off half centimetre spaces. So that that's a naught, so we go half a centimetre. And you can make your cuts wider apart, but if you make them quite narrow like this, it means you can fold and twist the fish quite nicely. So there we've got about 10 centimetres of uh, length um, with half centimetre cuts. Now I'm going to use my smaller scissors for cutting here and you're going to cut down. I do this with small scissors because I'm a bit dangerous with big scissors. Um, and these aren't the best because they've got a curve in them, but I will use them for now. So you cut maybe about, well, that's more than halfway, but I would keep your cuts to about halfway along the distance between this fold and the fish and, and the edge of the fish there. Okay, so. So can you see? And then your cuts need to get more and more shallow or shorter in length as you work your way along the fish. And you might be able to see from there so quite deep cuts here, but much more shallow cuts when you get to the end. So we've coloured our fish in. We've put all the cuts. Now we've got to stick him in place. Okay, so what I do is turn your fish over. Get sellotape or masking tape. I'm using masking tape because you can, well, because you can move it around a bit, can't you? You can think, oh, that's not quite the right place. And so, go one, two, three, and four. And you make a little roll of your masking tape, which is a piece of masking tape like that. Fold one side over, fold another side over, a little roll, and put one round about. You can see when you're working, you can see where the eyes are. So one piece there. Do exactly the same. There. So we've got two at the head, we'll have two at the tail. And then using a piece of paper you've coloured in for your C, and I would put the fish across diagonally um, because it just sort of gives you a few more options for movement. So pushing that fold up a little bit to give your fish a bit more shape, push the masking tape down, and then you can sort of decide well, where do I, I think that looks. I think it looks quite nice like that. So. I'll put the tail there, tail there, 
And there you have your leaping fish in the sea. And there's my finished sample there. So I hope you've enjoyed this activity.